What's up YouTube? How is everyone doing today? I hope all of you guys are having a great day. So before we get to this vlog and I tell you guys what celebrity bought some snakes off of us, uh, let's talk about the US Ark thing again. Again, US Ark's information is going to be on the description down below. Please, please, please go check them out. And if you could donate, that'd be awesome. But if you can't, if you could just follow the rules of what they say as you know, as far as, you know, sending some letters or making some phone calls to some of these bands to really, really help out with this, you know, awesome industry that we're in. If you, if you guys could do me that favor, that'd be awesome. I mean, they have some memberships that are very low, that memberships that are really, really high. Whatever you could do, it's only going to benefit all of us, you know, especially, the, you know, us that we love all these reptiles. But as you guys can see, we sold some snakes to a celebrity. Well, he's more of an influencer, but his name is so big right now. He's actually, you know, considered a like a really, really big celebrity. And I know I'm going to get a little flack on this because I know a lot of you guys are not too, uh, how do you say, a big fans of him. But I love the guy. You see, you guys probably see all the bad stuff he's done or whatever, all the press that he gets. That's horrible. But it's a lot of smart PR that this guy does. And that's why he's one of the biggest names out there. But yeah, we've been talking a lot. We've been doing a lot of collaborations uh, for his stuff and it's none other than Jake Paul. If you guys don't know who Jake Paul is, he's a big YouTuber, now boxer. I mean, dude, you guys saw him, you know, knock out Nate, and now he's gonna be fighting Ben Askren. But yeah, Jake and I actually became really, really good friends. He's such a humble guy, man. I'm telling you guys, every time we've done some collabs, this guy strays away to go talk to his fans and everything. It's, it's just really cool to see the stuff that he does. You guys just see the bad stuff, but I mean, I kind of know him on a personal level, and the guy's freaking awesome. But let us uh, let me show you guys some of the snakes that he bought, and then I'm gonna go with you guys in another mess that I got myself into that I don't you guys want to go through and I still haven't learned my lesson out of three seasons I'm going to my fourth season now and I did it again like straight Britney style you know he fell in love with this snake he went through my whole uh through my whole uh, Instagram and he was sending me pictures like hey man I like this I like that but yeah look at this how cool is this man and it's already you know roll off on eating and everything so that's one of the snakes that he's getting and then he's picking up this beauty right here bam right here Bamboo Mojave and the both of them are males. But yeah, he's really excited about it because this whole year He's just strictly going into you know boxing and he's getting really really strict with that So he wants to pick up a hobby and I'm telling you man this guy has you know I mean, he's been messaging me a lot about these ball pythons. He has a lot of assistants that are going to be helping them. Actually, I've been talking to one of his assistants to, you know, get some really stuff going. And dude, I, I, I remember the beginning when I was doing all these collabs with all these influencers and then they were buying snakes. I got so much crap about it. But you guys have no idea how good this is actually for the hobby, man. Especially with all the crazy things going on right now, dude. These influencers and, you know, celebrities having, you know, reptiles, it's only going to benefit us because they're actually going to be doing some stuff for us that's going to help out with USR. So before you guys think about leaving a negative comment down there, like, oh, this guy doesn't know what he's doing you know how much people are actually out there buying reptiles that have no clue what they're doing like 90 percent of them so you know this guy has actually you know not only does he have a lot of assistance but we've been talking and talking over and he has me to help him out with same thing i've done with summer ray with ben simmons the face clan all these guys have reptiles and they still go to their house and their reptiles are well well kept but yeah guys we're gonna you know get these boxes ready and then i'm gonna go pick up a snake that i you know that i needed because i messed up again but let's get these shipments ready and then we'll talk about the thing that I did that I just man I just can't learn my lesson man when I was thinking I was gonna get Tina in action and showing her uh packaging skills I kind of like <laughs> dropped the ball on that one but um turtle you were awesome big dog thank you so what's it so called um <laughs> so of course you know Jake Paul's getting some snakes Darkland Morris is getting some snakes as well too his information can be in the description down below and then Terrence is getting one of the big dog snakes um and you guys you guys have to go follow their stuff to see what they're actually getting but yeah man this is pretty cool speaking of awesome stuff um I believe he's still here what's up big chronic <laughs> what's up Justin? <laughs> 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 What's up, brother? What are you doing? Oh, yeah. it's snake for sale. Oh, no, 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 snake is not for sale. I know it's not. I snake is not for sale. I know it's not. Nothing here is for sale. But for the right price. <laughs> Why do you have a jiu-jitsu sweater on, bro? You don't know about those. I don't know about jiu-jitsu, bro. I didn't you win the Didn't you win the white belt uh, world championship? Nope, don't recall. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> you were thinking about going back and competing? No, bro. <laughs> Oh, At least you made it to a blue belt. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing here, bro? Oh, so you have a blue sweater. Tight. Blue shorts. Tight. Green shoes. Ah, green shoes. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that get up is straight federal. <laughs> Uh, what's it called, Jesse? What do you think about us uh, uh, selling some snakes to Jake Paul? That's badass, man. I think it's it's cool that you know how you're reaching out, and you know how people always give you uh, hate, hate this because out, of influencers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I already talked about that. Yeah. Yeah. You know how people get hate, but it's also like helping out the industry. If Dude. people want to talk about like the community, helping out the community, 
Well, my, what he's doing now, he's Reaching introducing the snakes big, yeah, to, to the bigger people stars. that never liked snakes, and now they like them. So yeah. I think it's a so good no job. No more hate, right, Big Doug? No more hate, right. No more hate to my brother, guys. Yeah. Come on, dude. Give it up. Yeah, that's going to be impossible. <laughs> oh, look who it is. It's Eves. You know, now that you're 13, we can put you on the vlogs, huh, Big Doug? That's, that, that's, that's Aubrey's homie over there, Ellie. Also our neighbor. So they go to the gym together, right? What kind, what kind of workouts do girls do? Um, just like arm workouts on Mondays and Wednesdays and leg workouts on Fridays. Yeah. Sweet. Who's stronger? Me, definitely. Damn, my daughter is whack. <laughs> All right, man, let's get going. Of course, I'm gonna take my uh, Iron Man truck. You guys, I'm a little kid when I drive this thing, man. But check this out, man. We got some snakes going up. Uh, that's tight. That is tight. But yeah, here we go, man. Shipping out some snakes. Next week is gonna be even crazier shipments. I think we're gonna be shipping out like a hundred snakes. No lie. We are here dropping off some snakes at the awesome FedEx. And the best part about it is that we're not just dropping some snakes off over here at FedEx. We are picking up a snake because, well, I'll explain to you guys what I keep doing to myself every year. And dude, I, I just, I'm gonna just let you guys know, man, what not to do and what to be ready for because every year this has happened to me. Every single year. And it could be very, very costly if you guys are not prepared for it or if you guys don't have a good friend to, you know, back you out of the situation. But we'll get to there. Let me just drop these bad boys off again and then I'll pick up the snake that's here and then we'll go back to the house and I'll get into details of what not to do if you're, um, a snake breeder. Sorry, big dog. You're gonna have to like kick rocks real quick. You kick me out of my office? Yeah, sorry. sorry. We have to do some unboxings real quick. Oh, the turtle doesn't have time. Damn, <laughs> slides with white socks. Sick as <laughs> fool. All right, guys, so before I open this up, let me explain to you guys really quick what the problem is that I keep on getting myself into. And I do this every year. You should listen so, to me. Got one of these? <laughs> so, guys, yeah, it's like. So you see, these are all males right there, right? You know, see the ones with the clips, the ones that are going to breeding and stuff like that. But no matter what, this happened to me in 2017, 2018, 2019, no, 2018, 2019, 2020, and now 2021, it's happened again. I always feel like if I have enough males, but even if you think you have enough males, trust me, man, get some more backups just in case. Because at least if you have some backups, you're gonna know in case that male doesn't decide to want to breed or he stopped breeding completely or you know something happens. You have something and you could already start planning out. This happened to me again where one of my breeders is just breeding with certain girls and he already had a lineup of eight to 12 females. That's usually what each male does unless I have a specific project. I mean, he had 12 females and he's only doing three. I mean, he'll just curl up onto the side. I mean, I, I, I don't know what it is. I and mean, when you're in this position, I don't have enough males to, you know, go to the other females. So it just really, really sucks. It could be very, very costly in your business um, having that problem. So this coming season, I am actually holding back a lot of males and I have some other males on my other room. I'm honestly, I wanna have three males per project. And even though some of these males are not gonna be the ones that I want, it's not gonna be as bad as not having anything, period. Cause at least what I have as a backup will be, you know, something good, at least to make some crazy projects and still have some snakes coming in for some income. So Justin has been the one to always help me out. This guy comes in clutch all the time. It happened last year and the year before, but this year he really didn't have anything. He even said he actually sold a little too much than he was supposed to. And you know, even though this is not even a visual, it definitely, you know, is gonna help me out because he is breeding and he's you know I haven't seen him yet but I'll show you guys what I got but this is definitely a powerhouse and he does work with some really good projects here that I have um, but yeah you guys want to know what male that stopped breeding for me that's only doing a couple of females is this freaking powerhouse right here spot nose red stripe yellow belly clown and this guy man I mean he, he was a key to making a lot of stuff and I still wanted to chew for some Pompeys even though I bought the mahogany Pompeii but you know he's only doing three females man and if I could just get him to do a couple more it'd be great but we have this as a backup so we have this right here mm -hmm. okay looks good looks good you know, you guys already see what Justin, you know, we sent. Has some awesome stickers and stuff like that. All his information is going to be on the description down below. Put this over here. This honestly feels like a female. That's a big male. That's a huge male. Feel this turtle? Just get one hand out. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That boy. dude, none of my males are this big. Wow, that's a big freaking male, man. Oh Look at this. And let's just pop him real quick just to make sure he can send me a female. I believe he's going into shed too, the pink belly. Look there at that. Whoop. Is. Yep, that's a male. Ready. Dude, I'm a pro at popping snakes, man. I'm telling you, it's so crazy. And right here we have an ivory. 
and I believe it is going in shed. Now, obviously, it's not just a regular ivory. So you can see it has like some grayish, you know, blotches in the back and stuff. But this is actually a spot nose Wookiee. Uh, possible red stripe ivory 100% head clown and he is proven you know again it's like I wish I could have a visual form of this but you know I had to get what I could and I mean this is a massive powerhouse right here bot nose wookie and ivory everything's gonna be yellow belly yellow belly clowns are just amazing but yeah man this is such a powerhouse big shout out to Justin again man ah oh, dude this is so freaking cool he has so much film mills already waiting for him because I want to make some more of the snakes that I just bought but yeah, this is him right here. Actually, a snake that I just purchased from Justin was from him. And that's this black pastel yellow belly Wookiee clown. So it's pretty cool. So he has proven already. I'm telling you guys right now, man, load up on some mails. Get three mails for each project that you want. If you feel like if you're having too much mails, trust me, it's better to have more than to have less. And I, I still, even myself, going into my fourth year, thinking that I have enough mails. Dude, I don't, and it's so freaking stressful, man. And it always costs a pretty penny afterwards someone to let go a, of a breeder to go to you. So hold your mails back, man, trust me. If someone says, oh, just get two, get three. Trust me, trust me, get more mails than you think so, than you think you want. So this guy will be pairing to a lot of black pastel clowns that I have, because I would love to make some uh, yellow belly black pastel Wookiees, like the one that I made. I mean, I got so much messages over that one. I mean, I didn't make it, but you know, Justin did. But yeah, guys, that's it, man. I hope you liked the vlog. You guys saw that Jake Paul got some snakes, Dark Line got some snakes, the homie Terrence got some snakes. We got a snake, and as always, man, we appreciate all the support. Till next time, peace.